of you guys ever volunteered or took part of your student government while you guys were in high school? How many of you guys volunteered to this day? It's okay if you guys don't. <laughs> All right. I work with this um, group of students at Esteban Torres High School, which is my old high school, and I take them out to volunteer around the community. And I have been doing this for a very long time. So I can't really remember how many years. I think it's about six years I wanted off to. Um, this is my jersey, which is Torres High School, and it has my leadership logo. I was student body treasure all my years in high school. Um, so now I'll talk to you guys a little bit about why this jersey means a lot to me. So this jersey, actually, I got it around my, jun my junior year. I went to an old high school, which is Wilson High School, and I felt really out of place there. I felt like the outcast. I didn't like being there. I was there just to go to school, and I left home right away. I sometimes just go home crying because I didn't like it there. So I started volunteering way a lot more. I volunteered in churches. I volunteered in homeboys industry. I volunteered in parks with um, elderly people. They're so cute. They're the cutest people ever. Okay. And Everyone in my program, which the program is called HEART, um, Human Efforts Aim That Relating Together, which is for volunteering, it's taking the people out, and there's a lot of students who, they just don't feel like they're needed. Or anything. So I take them out and I do them. Every one of these people are required to wear a jersey. It has their last name in the back. Mine says Carrasco, so it has that, and you can pick a number. My number is 23, it's always been for my whole life. <laughs> so. Not only because it looks good, it does look good on us, you guys, it looks good, I'm not gonna try. But it's so I won't lose them, because I've actually lost a girl once when we went out. So I'll tell you guys a story. <laughs> I always walk in the back of them, and it's about 15 students, and some of them are taller than me, so how are you gonna, like, I'm gonna lose these kids. And so, like, I take them out, and I usually sit down in the back. So I'm in the back walking, and this time, like, I feel so alone here. So I go in the front, and I'm walking them, and there's a girl who's new to the program, decides she could take a, a shortcut. And so I, I just feel my phone ringing. And I go back and, I'm, and she's like, oh, she's crying, like she's crying her eyes out. I'm like, why are you crying? Like, where are you? aren't you in the back? She's like, no, I took a shortcut and I'm lost. I don't know where I'm at. And I'm like, really? So I had to, I, somehow I found her. I tried so hard not to laugh. I'm so sorry, I tried not to laugh at all. But it was so hard, so I laughed behind her back for a little bit. And so, I'm really proud to wear this jersey because it's gotten a lot of attention in the community. If it's a new school, it's three years old, the school. So it's gotten a lot of attention, it's gotten some positive, and of course, every school has some negative attention. And I love helping people in need. I love that feeling of that you're actually wanted, that you're actually needed for something, not just for you know, to be around with your friends. So now I'll talk to you guys why I identify myself with this culture. I've been volunteering, like, like I said, like for six years. I used to go to Wilson High School, and Wilson High School, Gar Garfield High School, and Roosevelt High School is in the around the community of my old my new school, Esteban Torres. So they've gotten attention for over 55 years, 55 to 85 years. So it's a brand new school, of course, and there's no attention there. Just they saying that they're taking over Garfield's culture and all that. So when I moved there, my principal. She wanted me to start this program. So of course I wanted to. And a lot of these students that I take, take to volunteer are students that got kicked out from those high schools. So these students, um, they don't care about school and they want to change that. So now they're taking this part of a very big thing. Like they go out on weekends. If I can't go with them, they'll go out by themselves and they'll go help. Like we have a bullying program now that they started. So it's a lot of these kids that got bullied in school and now they're trying to prevent bullying themselves. And so even after I graduated, which was last year, I still go back and I help them. I take 15 kids out every weekend and we go out for about three to four hours just volunteering, doing these things. I get a workout walking up those hills. You can't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> and so this program, it really changed my life because I felt needed. You, you have that joy of, I love like the joy of some older person who's telling me their stories about how Los Angeles was in the 1960s, and you can experience that in school, really, because I mean they're here telling you stories. I had a 
uh, older person who got their legs chopped off in the Vietnam War. And he told me this whole story, and like I love that, like because they're like my my kids don't visit me no more. Like they're left alone there, so it feels really good to be needed. And so you learn about why this. Simple Jersey represents my program for over three or six years. You learned about why I didn't find myself in volunteering culture. And so if you ever enter the Oyster Street, Cesar Chavez, and you see people like this, they're either going to school or leaving from school, or they're going to volunteer somewhere. So I'll leave you with this quote. You cannot live a perfect day without doing something for someone who will never be able to pay you back. <laughs>